Hello guys, Albert here. I want to show you in this video how to use full page plugin for Elementor. Let's go and add a new page. Edit with Elementor. Something you will notice is that when you look for the full page element, it doesn't exist. When working with full page, instead of using the elements, we are going to be using the settings of the Elementor plugin. So we would go down here to the settings menu and in here we will find the full page icon. Now all we have to do is enable full page. Once we do so, you will realize that the page already changes and it removes a few things here and there. And then it's quite easy to use to be honest. We just have to click on the plus icon and add a block. Each of the blocks will be a full page section that uh, you can scroll through. Now we are going to create our first section and to do so we are going to add a heading. We convert it to H1 and we center it. And then to add the background, we click on the section itself. We go to the Styles tab and then we add the background. In this case, we are just going to add the color background. And just to make it look a bit better, we're just going to change the color of the text to something like white. And then we're going to make it bigger. This is something you could do using the CSS uh, properties directly. But for the matter of this uh, demo, we are just going to do it this way. You will notice that the navigator doesn't update automatically, uh, but this is an issue in Elementor itself that hopefully they will fix in future releases. All we have to do now is uh, click on publish or update and then you'll see how the, when you refresh the page, uh, you'll get the, the elements in there. So here we can see now our first section with the heading we created. Now let's create a second section with two horizontal slides. Like before, we are just going to add a block that is going to be our section. And now, unlike before, we are going to add an inner section. So each of the inner sections in our section is going to be one of our slides. When we add an inner section, you will notice that we have two columns. But well, in this case, we just want to work with a single column. So we are going to delete the second one. We do right click and then we click on delete. At the moment, we now have an inner section in which uh, we have a single column. And now we are going to add the heading inside. We are going to call it section 2.1. And now let's duplicate our inner section by doing right click on it and then duplicate. This is now going to be our second slide of the second sections where we are just going to call it section 2.2. Now something we have to do when we create uh, horizontal slides is clicking on the section that contains the slides. Then we will go to the layout section and in the category full page we will turn on the toggle just to define that this section contains horizontal slides. Now you will notice that it changes the layout, but we still have to do something else uh, that hopefully we won't be having to do in future versions of this plugin. Now we will have to go to the layout itself and uh, change two properties, the column gap and the content width. So we have to make it full width and without gap. Now we can proceed to style our first slide. We are gonna click on the slide and then we're gonna click on style and then we're going to choose a background picture for it. And then we're going to do the same for the second slide of our second section. We're going to choose another background. So now we have it all. Uh, all we have to do now is click on the preview section and then we can see how we have our website uh, made of two sections and two slides on the second section. So as you can see, in just two minutes, we were able to have a working website using full page with very basic steps, nothing difficult, quite easy to, to, to manage. So I think this is a very powerful plugin that uh, I'm sure uh, many people will be happy to use. Something that I didn't mention uh, is that, well, as you can see, the, the titles on the second section, they, they don't look great. Something to that enables us to manage uh, the styles in a more uh, proper way is the use of uh, CSS. So you can define how you want all your titles to look on the website, for example. So to do so, uh, you can just go uh, to the full page settings, uh, to the design category, and in there, uh, just add custom CSS. We could, for example, define how we want to look at the titles. So we can just say that we want them white and we want them with a certain font. And now if we click on update, you'll see the result. Well, so that's basically it. I hope this video serves as an overview for you to have uh, an idea of how this uh, plugin looks like. Of course, it has many more options that I didn't mention that you can edit. Uh, there's a description in each of the options, but if you have any doubts, you can also consider um, looking at the GitHub documentation where everything is explained with much more detail. 
I'm pretty sure that you guys are gonna love it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment on GitHub, send us an email or uh, contact us through uh, Twitter. We will be happy to help and make of this plugin something even better. So we can keep improving it and uh, keep making a great product that you guys can use. Um, that's all. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed it.